Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay welcome back so today we will discuss elasticity of supply concept of elasticity of supply and how using the supply curve or different looking supply curve can measure elasticity of supply and so on we will discuss until uh, until our last lecture we have discussed elasticity of demand and it is uh, related to various aspects right we have we have taken some sort of demand equation equation means price quantity there is an equational relationship between price and quantity right and using that equation how we can find out elasticity of demand how we can find out one demand curve along different points on that the same elasticity of demand ok. So, uh, we have done uh, quite exhaustively and discussion of elasticity of demand and how to find out that ok. Now, we will discuss or uh, today we will discuss elasticity of supply. So, elasticity of supply definition is exactly the same because uh, we have uh, when we have introduced uh, demand and supply we told that the whatever the factors that determine that supply and uh, demand uh, most important factors of the, the commodity or the service for which demand or supply we are talking about that commodity's price is the most important factor right. So, we in this particular case or elasticity of supply in this particular case we will discuss one price elasticity of supply. So, price elasticity of supply we will discuss and we will not discuss other elasticities like say here there is no cross price elasticity as such rather what you can think of in, you can think of say uh, price of one factors of production vis a vis its supply right. So, that uh, we are not discussing for the time being and sometimes later if possible we will discuss that ok. So, we, we will discuss price elasticity of supply. So, for that suppose we have so definition uh, elasticity of supply say uh, elasticity of supply ok that will be exactly the same definition del q by q in the numerator and del p by p in the denominator. Of course, here del q in the sense that quantity supplied say if we take an uh, diagram say suppose as usual we are measuring quantity in the horizontal axis price in the vertical axis and we have say this kind of upward sloping supply curve right. So, definitely when we are drawing that say A B is a supply curve right. How we interpret that? We interpret ok. If market price is this much then quantity supplied is this much right. If market price is this much at that price quantity of that commodity supplied in this much and so on this is the market supply curve right. So, definitely horizontal axis we are measuring quantity supplied. So, in that way when we are defining elasticity of supply it will be del q ok ok ok. So, let me in the same notation may be capital Q ok. So, del capital Q s quantity supplied by Q s that is the percentage change ok proportional change in quantity supplied due to proportional change or due to percentage change in price ok that is the definition. So, in general elasticity definition whether it is elasticity of demand or elasticity of supply even of even if it is elasticity of demand with respect to own price with respect to cross price with respect to say income of the consumer. So, you see that corresponding quantity demanded or quantity supplied related component relative change or proportional change in quantity demanded or quantity supplied will be always in the numerator ok and denominator proportional change in the corresponding factor due to which this quantity supplied is changing right. So, since here we are considering only price ok. So, it is denominator will be proportional change in price ok. Now, our, our uh, target is to uh, find out what will be the elasticity of supply value across different uh, supply curves. Say for instance, if we have we have say two extreme kind of supply curve exactly the two extreme kind of demand curve what we have taken. Suppose we are we are measuring say as usual quantity supplied in the horizontal axis and price vertical axis 
price vertical axis, quantity supplied in the horizontal axis. Suppose this is our supply curve, supply curve is a vertical line or alternatively suppose this is our supply curve, it is an horizontal line. Okay. So, these are the extreme cases or limiting cases we are telling right and you can see that on this say, suppose this is A B is our supply curve which is vertical right. So, you can understand that even if when say price is changing from say B say suppose this is C this is C prime price is changing from B C to B C prime quantity supplied remain the same thing O B this is O is the origin. So, this is O B that distance. So, due to change in price okay, there is no change in quantity supplied. So, definitely numerator component is 0 okay, and denominator component is whatever it is. Okay, so, it is 0 by that thing. Okay. So, when you are moving from C to C prime or C prime to another say C double prime okay, there is some change. right? So, the denominator there is something or to be specific denominator is not 0. Okay. So, as a result that elasticity of supply value equals to 0 along any point on any point on this kind of supply curve which is vertical right okay in an extreme case or on limiting case exactly the opposite scenario here where you are a straight line horizontal supply curve okay supply curve is horizontal and of course straight line when we are telling vertical horizontal all we are taking straight line supply curve we are coming if we don't have a straight line supply curve supply curve is a general hyperbolic kind of upward sloping supply is upward sloping but it is a it is a non-linear kind of curve okay uh, what will be the elasticity of supply value across different points on that on that curve we, we are coming we are coming to that. So, exactly the opposite of this say suppose our say a prime b prime this is our supply curve right which is horizontal or parallel to the horizontal axis right. So, in that case this point this point this point you look at here quantity supplied or change in quantity supplied say suppose this is say uh, k k prime k double prime. So, from k to k double or k prime there is a movement. So, there is some positive del q by q is there, but that movement from k to k prime there is no change in price. So, denominator factor is 0 here. So, along this line at various points at this point at this point at this point elasticity of supply is undefined or sometimes we tell as usual elasticity of supply is say infinitely large okay infinitely large okay so uh, that kind of elasticity of supply okay so and as we clarified earlier uh, please don't tell that uh, along that line on different points elasticity of supply value is same yes it is uh, undefined and sometimes uh, we used to denote that undefined thing as infinitely large infinitely large does not mean that it is same at k point and k prime point right Okay. Now, let us go to the another one phrase space and we will discuss that upward sloping usual uh, supply curve not this kind of extreme either vertical or horizontal kind of extreme case. Okay. Say suppose say we have usual supply curve and it is straight line. So, we as usual we are measuring quantity supplied in the horizontal axis price in the vertical axis and suppose we have a supply curve which is passing through the origin we are still considering a supply curve which is linear okay usual upward sloping but linear straight line okay so uh, it is it's, it's passing through the origin and straight line so suppose o a is our supply curve so suppose say c point and this is say c1 point right so at the C point, what is the elasticity of supply? Okay. So, so it is basically when we are moving to C to C prime point, this side say suppose, okay, okay. So, and okay, so okay, so Q1 suppose, okay. So, this is elasticity of supply at C point right at point C in the diagram okay, this point. So, what is the del Q del uh, del Q by Q? So, uh, so whatever okay, elasticity of supply value is del Q Q S uh, quantity supplied. So, I am writing simply quantity not yes another subscript I am bringing uh, to make it uh, less complicated right in that way by Q and del p by p. So, that we can write 
as del q by del p into p by q right or that I can write del q by del p by q by p right. Now, look at here del q by del p is what here? Here del q is in this diagram delta q is basically c m distance. So, when we are moving from a movement from c to c prime due to a movement from c to c prime delta q is c m distance ok. Delta p is uh, c 1 m distance c 1 point is this point is c 1 right. So, delta p must be c 1 m mind that p we are measuring in the vertical axis and q we are measuring in the horizontal axis right. So, and what is look we are moving from c to c 1 prime. So, original value of price and quantity what is in c point ok. So, at c point q value is basically o q 1 and p is basically c q 1 ok. Now, these values if we put on this elasticity equation or elasticity value elasticity of supply that will be equals to del q by del p is basically this by this right and uh, by q by p is basically this by this. So, this is basically del q by uh, del q by del p is basically c m by c 1 m this by o q 1 by c q 1 right. Now, by virtue of the fact that o a o a is basically an ray through the origin. So, since o a is a ray through the origin. So, ok ok one minute since O a is a ray through the origin. So, O q 1 c this triangle and c m c 1 these two triangles are similar and by virtue of the similarity property c m by c 1 m is exactly equals to O q 1 by q 1 c or c q 1 whatever it is right. And since these two are equal, so this will be equals to 1 ok. So, one interesting result we are getting that if we have a straight line demand curve usual upward sloping straight line demand curve, but it is passing through the origin then along with every point. So, at this point also if you want to calculate the elasticity of supply value say suppose from there to there you are moving by virtue of the fact that this bigger triangle say this uh, green color this bigger triangle ok and this red color small triangle these two are the similar triangle ok. So, by virtue of that similarity property of the two similar triangle you can show that in this case exactly this way exactly this way if you go you will see that elasticity value is 1 elasticity of supply value is 1 ok. Not only that not, not only that this line if we are take this line we take this line does not matter straight line supply curve which is passing through the origin ok on any point of that demand or that supply curve elasticity of supply value is 1 ok. So, this kind of curve one supply curve which is passing through the origin which is straight line and usual supply curve upward sloping straight line. So, that supply curve we can tell that supply curve as unit elastic supply curve because along the that supply curve on any point elasticity of supply value is 1. So, it is called also we can term it as unit elastic supply curve ok. Ok, so what is the departure here from the elasticity of demand as, as you can remember unit elastic demand curve it is not a straight line rather it is an general hyperbolic straight uh, line not only that we have shown that it is rectangular hyperbola it is a specific kind of hyperbolic curve right it is a rectangular hyperbola. Alternatively for the elasticity of supply unit elastic supply curve is always a straight line and passing through the origin of course upward sloping usual form. Now, let us uh, try to discuss so three alternative uh, supply curve we have taken so far two extremes one is vertical one is horizontal and one is straight line, but passing through the origin. Now, let us see that in this particular case what will be the elasticity of supply value 
say suppose we have usual upward sloping straight line, but it has a vertical intercept. Suppose this is AB is the supply curve. Okay. As usual, we are measuring quantity supplied in the horizontal axis, price in the vertical axis. Right. So, what will be the elasticity of supply? Look at here. So, elasticity of supply I can write as usual say del Q by Q del P by P, right. That I can write del Q by del P into P by Q. That I can write alternatively P by Q by del P by del Q. Right. Just I am the same thing what we have used in the earlier diagram, exactly the same thing, but I am manipulating a little bit different way. Right. So, it is P by Q and del P by del Q. So, look at here at this point, okay. see this del P, del P by del Q or del Q by del P, no, along a straight line is always constant here because that, that this del P by this thing denominator del P by del Q, it is basically slope of that straight line. right? So, since it is a straight line at this point, at this point, at this point, various point on that slope is same, right? Because P is we are measuring in the horizon vertical axis, Q we are measuring in the vertical axis. So, del P by del Q definitely slope. So, at this point, what is this value? At this point, what is that value? At this point, what is at this point? All these points say, suppose this is say C, C1, C2, C3. By virtue of the fact that AB line is a straight line, okay. C point, C1 point, C2 point, C3 point, these are alternative uh, points on that straight line, right. Everywhere del P by del Q is same because it is the slope of that straight line, right. Now, at C point, what is the elasticity of supply, okay? Or at the C point, what is P by Q? Definitely slope of this line, this straight line, right. Straight line, so P by Q, that value at C point is basically P by Q at point C that is basically uh, slope of the uh, slope of O C straight line O C straight line straight line or O C sometimes we call a ray through the origin right ray one one straight line through the origin sometimes we call ray through the origin right. So, definitely at C point P by Q value is the slope of O C line. So, at the C 1 point P by Q value is basically slope of O C 1 straight line, C 2 point it will be O C 2 straight line and so on. And as you are moving right side this direction you see that P by Q value is basically falling because that is corresponding ray through the origin connecting say origin and C 1, C vis a vis origin and C 1, vis a vis origin and C 2 and so on. This current connecting rays are becoming flatter and flatter. So, as you are moving this direction actually P by Q value is falling, but del P by del Q denominator. So, in this elasticity of supply component numerator is falling as you are moving towards that direction along that uh, supply curve, right. But denominator is always constant remaining the fixed because the slope of that straight line, right. So, definitely I can tell elasticity of supply value at C point okay, is greater than same elasticity of supply value at C point, elasticity of supply value at C 1 point, this must be greater than elasticity of supply value at C 2 point and so on right and so on. So, as we are moving towards uh, this direction upward direction right hand side direction its elasticity value is continuously falling elasticity of supply value along different points on that a b kind of supply curve. Okay? It is continuously falling and what are their value? So, uh, at this point what is the absolute value or what is the value? Here absolute value and value is the same because elasticity of supply is positive. Why positive? Because the direction quantity is changing, the same direction price is changing. When price is increasing, quantity is also increasing, right. So, that is why uh, here uh, elasticity of supply value is always positive. When you are taking an usual supply curve, upward sloping supply curve along different points on that elasticity of supply value is positive always.
ok. Okay, but that positive value, what is the absolute value, whether it is greater than 1 or less than 1, something like that, can we think that? Okay, fine, fine. How will look at here? So, look at here at C point, okay. Let me let me and draw this curve afresh, okay. Okay, so this was our AB, this is C point, this is C1 point, this is C2 point, and so on. We are moving that direction, okay, moving the direction indicated by the arrow, right. So, obviously, at C point, okay, denominator is del P by del Q, that is basically the slope of that straight line AB, right. But numerator P by Q is basically slope of the point OC. A slope of the straight line OC or ray through the origin OC. So, in the from the diagram we can clearly see that slope of AC is larger than slope of AB, right? Because OC line is both are straight line, but OC line is steeper than the uh, AB line, right? So, definitely numerator is larger than the denominator at the elasticity of supply uh, quantity. So, definitely this is greater than 1, ok. So, uh, we are getting that two general results. One, if we have a straight line supply curve having a positive vertical intercept, this is the vertical intercept of the supply curve, no? Positive vertical intercept along different points on that supply curve, elasticity of supply value is more than 1, it is greater than 1, ok. But as we move towards right side, ok, as as quantity increases due to change in price, increase in price, elasticity value is continuously falling, but still it is greater than 1. So, we can tell that from this very beginning, very beginning from where the uh, that supply curve is starting, it is the highest there elasticity value and elasticity value is in any case more than 1 and as we are moving this direction, it is going towards and towards 1 value, value 1. Okay, so, we are starting with one value greater than 1 and as we are moving this direction as indicated by arrow, it is falling, 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 but going closer to 1. Okay. Exactly the opposite scenario, let us go to the another, another appraise. So, suppose we have, we have our supply car, it is also a straight line upward sloping, but it has a negative vertical intercept. Okay negative vertical intercept or sometimes we can tell that positive horizontal intercept ok. So, if you if you extend that line no, it will hit vertical line here right, this is the negative side of the vertical vertical axis right. So, sometimes it is called negative vertical intercept or that also alternatively we can tell that it has a positive horizontal intercept right. So, suppose this is our supply line supply curve A prime B prime is our supply curve. So, definitely at this point, at this point, at this point suppose here this is C, C, uh, C prime, here C double prime, here C triple prime and so on, we are moving that direction. Okay. So, obviously again elasticity of supply value we can write that P by Q by del P by del Q after the manipulation what we have done here, look at here P by Q in the numerator and denominator del P by del Q, the same thing we are coming here P by Q del P by del Q. So, look at here what is happening. So, del P by del Q by virtue of the fact that A, A prime B prime this supply curve whatever we, are, we have taken it is a straight line. So, everywhere again in this particular case the denominator is fixed along that straight line right at C prime point, C double prime point, C triple prime point, all those points that denominator, denominator, this denominator is fixed, ok. Now, at C prime point, what is the numerator? P by Q. So, P by Q basically the slope of this connecting ray O C prime ray, ok. So, basically look at here out of this li two lines which is steeper, definitely this line O C prime is flatter than flatter than a prime b prime straight line. So, definitely that denominator is larger because slope of the denominator means 
slope of the, here denominator is basically slope of a prime b prime line and numerator p by q is basically slope of o c prime line. Since a prime b prime line is steeper than o c prime line, so definitely denominator is larger than the numerator. Okay. So, c prime point elasticity of supply value is less than 1, it is positive, but it is less than 1. Now, look at here when we are going to c double prime from c to c prime as we are moving along this direction indicated by the, that the arrow, arrow sign. So, look at here the same denominator the elasticity component, but numerator has increased because at c double prime point p by q the numerator of the elasticity component is basically slope of the O C double prime, O C double prime this raised slope. Okay? So, it is increasing right, slope is increasing right. So, P by Q, Q value is more at C double prime point, this have is at C, C prime point right. So, as a result what will happen? So, although along every point of this kind of supply curve which straight line upward sloping, but which has a you know, positive horizontal intercept along different points on that supply curve, elasticity supply value is less than 1. But as we are moving that direction, okay, elasticity of supply value is increasing. Okay. So, let me summarize then all these things. It is basically if you have a positive vertical intercept supply curve, upward sloping supply curve straight line of course, all these things we are discussing at the straight line supply curve. Okay. Positive vertical intercept, elasticity of supply along different points on that curve is greater than 1 and as we are moving right hand side direction, it is falling and falling. Okay. Just the opposite scenario, if we have a straight line upward sloping supply curve which has a positive horizontal intercept along different points on that supply curve, elasticity of supply value is less than 1, but as we are moving towards right hand side direction, it is increasing and increasing. Okay. If we have a upward sloping straight line supply curve which is passing through the origin, it is elasticity of supply along different points on that curve is constant, its value is 1. Okay. And two extreme cases, one case to every point that vertical, if you have a supply curve which is vertical along different points, its elasticity value is 0 and if you have a supply curve which is horizontal, it is basically along different points elasticity value is undefined or you can tell infinitely large. Right? Now, the question is if we are not so fortunate, we have say suppose we have a supply curve which is upward sloping usual supply curve, but not say straight line say like this kind of supply curve. Say suppose we are measuring as usual quantity supplied in the horizontal axis, price in the vertical axis and suppose this is our supply curve, right. At different points how we can find out elasticity of supply value, okay. So, the same advice or same suggestion what was there uh, in case of elasticity of demand case. So, at this point you want to find out elasticity of supply value, okay on this demand, this supply curve, suppose this A B is our supply curve, this kind of curve kind of things. So, advice is that you draw a tangent on that curve at the given point where say suppose C is the given point, where you want to find out elasticity of supply value and treat as if this tangent itself is the supply curve okay? and find out the elasticity of supply value at C point if your supply curve is this tangential line. Okay. At this point elasticity of supply you want to find out, well so you draw a tangent on that curve, okay, but at this particular point say suppose C double prime point okay, and treat that as if your supply curve is this tangent line okay, and find out the elasticity of supply value at C double prime point on this supply line and so on. So, this is the, this is the message if you do not have a straight line supply curve rather uh, usual non-linear kind of supply curve of course, upward sloping. Okay. So, how to find out elasticity of supply value along different points on that curve? This is the way you can. can. Now, let me just complete uh, to, to this discussion. Assume what determined this elasticity of supply? As you can remember, we also uh, mentioned 3-4 factors what determines elasticity of demand. 
So, elasticity of supply basically is, is usually determined by the time horizon, the supply in the market, the market we are talking about, elasticity of supply is defined for within which time span. Okay. It is usually when as time span becoming larger and larger, it will be more elastic supply curve. Why that is the case? Uh, you can say I, I, I have a factory, I am producing say steel, right. So, if for some reason tomorrow demand for steel increases huge, right, I do not have capacity to immediately increase my supply, right. But if uh, one year or two years, say sufficiently longer time span perhaps, since supply or demand for steel is there in the market, I will perhaps I will try to expand my capacity, okay, to produce more, right. So, that is the thing. So, we need to have say little bit longer time span to adjust our supply or to increase our supply, okay. Alternatively, say suppose if tomorrow say price becomes very less, I have a I have a factory, okay, where I am producing say suppose steel, okay. So, I cannot cut down that much uh, amount of uh, production because I have I already hired certain levers, certain uh, other factors of production I already hired, right. I immediately cannot uh, fire those uh, factors of production which I already hired, right. So, if it is a small time span, it is very difficult to adjust your or relatively more difficult to adjust your production behavior and a hence supply behavior in the market, okay. One clarification in economics when we are telling that short run, long run or shorter time point, longer time span, okay. In economics actually there is a specific definition of short run and long run, okay. We will discuss after some time that definition, how much longer span we will tell long run and how much uh, longer span of time we will tell short run. For the time being we are not defining that ex uh, explicitly, so for the time being you just consider that relatively shorter uh, duration is called short run and relatively longer duration is called long run. That is all, that is enough for the time being. Let us stop here.